Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the Master of Hobbits again joined by Jakob the Lord of All. Today looking at another beer that I got online at hophead.dk. Check them out. This is from Wirebacher and this is the Wirebacher Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> it's their Belgian Imperial Stout on 11.8% and uh, Belgian meaning it's made with a Belgian yeast strain. It says this velvety concoction excites your senses with bottomless roses, roasted earthy and vineous notes. Um, the whole thing of making everything Belgian is kind of a cliche now, yeah. I'd say, but um, I've it's heard really good of, things about this, yeah, though. Yeah, and Weyerbacher so. makes some solid stuff, but also, so, I mean, I really dug, like, Double Simcoe, but I remember Old Heathen was a little bit of a disappointment, yeah. but... Oof. So, we got Weyerbacher Tiny Poured, and that is Pitch Black. Oh, no, oh, that's the, the, red, like... the red notes you oh, see that's the table. from the table, <laughs> you fucking moron. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Yeah. It looked very it's, it's, it's like a, a hundredth time we review down here. It's yeah, still it's like, oh, I table. get red notes. Oh, wait, no, that's the table. Um, <laughs> but yeah, pitch black. Yeah, nice, uh, kind of mocha colored head. Yep. So the aroma. Wow, a lot of star and these, like notes and licorice. Yeah. Definitely smells in, like Belgian. Wow, I kind of like a lot bread. Of, yeah. A lot of bread. Like dark bread, like, or, yeah, a dark, dark more, rye more bread. rusty Swats, red. Swats, Swatch Swatch board. Swatch board, yeah. Also, like some toffee notes and mm. caramel and um, a lot of spice. A lot of like black pepper like notes and, and as I said, like um, Astarnese, licorice notes and grains. Yeah. Kind it of has a lot of like like graininess. Like the, the when you mash an Imperial Stout, you get a lot of that uh, chocolate malt and the black pattern yeah. malt and roasted malts kind of. The, the, the grain essential. I, I think when you use the Belgian yeast strains, the dark fruits really get into, uh, accentuated in the beer. Maybe it's the smoke, um, smokedness. Yeah, I like smoke. I, I, can, I can say it, it has a little bit of that. It smells really interesting. Yeah, it, it does. It smells, definitely smells like a mix of Belgian and uh, like regular Imperial style. So do you want to give it a taste? Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, it is, but it has it, it has a lot of alcohol though. Uh, oh yeah, uh, all the aftertaste has got a lot of alcohol. It is. It, it needs to sit for a while. Yeah. It reminds me of our latest homebrew with more alcohol and less sweetness. Yeah. Because we made a Belgian Imperial Stout uh, yeah. with a shit ton it of sugar. It became a Belgian yeah, Imperial Yeah, it was supposed to be. <laughs> with a shit ton of rye and shit ton of sugar and shit ton of uh, chocolate, chocolate malt. malt yeah. And it's like just a sweet, chocolatey, Belgian-y, stouty goodness. But it has so much residual sweetness that the alcohol is covered up. The first flavor up front, and I'm sure you can see it on your face because I saw you like doing something like that, yeah. is that it is there. It lets you know the alcohol is there. Yeah. It almost, yeah. Yeah, alcohol is there and it's so... Higher on the second sip, I don't feel it as much. Mm -hmm. I think it might be because we just had a beer where the alcohol was hidden much more. Well. Yeah, or maybe you just... Well, but oh, the aftertaste is nice, yeah. though. It is really nice, but the aftertaste is get a lot really of... coffee forward. But I get a lot of roast coffee on the aftertaste. What I pick up is a lot of spice. Oh yeah, I a lot of peppery spice, very peppery. A lot of uh, licorice spice, and in the back end, uh, it it is more of the regular imperial stout flavors with like it, it just lingers on and on with coffee flavors. Mouthfeel, I'd say, is on the full side, but the lighter side of full. Yeah, because of the building. Feel. Yeah. Uh, Belgian beers are usually not too big on the mouthfeels, but it still it has a sticky kind of sugary lace. Yeah. Um, I really like the coffee, mm -hmm. coffee flavors in here and the dark fruit flavors though. Yeah. What about you? What else do you pick up? Well, I do pick up some prunes, kind of yeah. dark figs and or dark uh, grapes and figs and. The chocolate isn't as dominant. Yeah, that's one though. thing that I was about to say that uh, surprises me a lot. <laughs> it has so small amount of chocolate. Yeah, and not really any. Especially when you look at the color. And a it, lot of grainy flavors. Yeah, uh, like uh, mesh flavors. But when you look at the color, you would not expect some way, uh, chocolate or yeah. crystal caramel kind of taste. But yeah, it's simply not there. It's simply not there. Mm -hmm. I'm, I get slightly burnt and toasty, ashy notes. Yeah. Mostly just burnt. So I think it's a pretty good interpretation of the Belgian Imperial style thing. It's not. I I still prefer Belgians and Imperial stouts on their own. I haven't had a beer so far that's really. I think wow, the mix of Belgian and Imperial stout has been great. But they do it well. It has nice coffee flavors and roast flavors and 
uh, the burnt notes, a lot of the dark fruits accentuated from from uh, the yeast and all, and and the peppery, spicy flavors in there. It, it's it's good stuff, and uh, I'm gonna. Get, but I'm not. As, I, it's not as good as I thought it would be, but it's still a great beer. So ring wise, I'm gonna get 88 on it. It's close to 90. I really I really dig it, but it's for a Belgian interpretation of a imperial stout i prefer something more along the lines of stones beer for all years um imperial stout uh, that was made with the uh, star knees but yeah i'm gonna go a little different direction i'm gonna go 82. wow well, well, yeah <laughs> i don't it's a good beer don't get me wrong but I it's just get, nothing that is it the booziness I don't know if it's smooth in this. I think but I do get a lot. Because I'm used to, I'm already used to the boozy kind of flavor now, and yeah. it doesn't bother me anymore. But I do get a kind of like metallic flavor. I just, I just, I don't see where the fuck you get that from. <laughs> oh, I know. I just can't metallic? let it go. I don't know what it is. Maybe yeah. it is the combination or something. Or the difference in palettes. Oh, different in palettes. But it uh, just displeases me in some way. It's funny when we do these reviews and we give grades in the 80s and it sounds like it's just a oh, weird and it's just, No, 80s is a great grade. <laughs> so just to get that out there, it's 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 a really nice beer. So definitely check out Weibacher's Tiny if you can get it. Uh, definitely let us know what you think of Tiny if you've had it. I really want to hear some opinion on this one. Me too. Because uh, <laughs> I'm sure it's going to split the waters. Uh, and as always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And we're untapped. And untapped. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And we're going to see you guys in another beer review.